So you had anybody try to steal one of these yet? No, no, no. So I'll be your first? <laughs> Yo, get your wagon. Get your wagon. Look at this wagon, man. This is massive. Yo, what's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me on another adventure. Today's adventure. We are up in Philly. We're up in Philly and we're going to be checking out the car show. Yeah, so we got the car show going on. Hey, check out that wall. Philly does a really nice job with the murals. If you're ever in Philly, just take a second check out some of the murals. The murals are really, yeah, you know, for me, that's part of the adventure. You know, but going to the car show, I've been to the car show a couple times. One of the interesting things that I found out is that it is illegal to ride scooters in Philly. Well, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. They got a thing on the books where you can't ride scooters, so my plan was to park the car, grab the scooter, and ride. But that's not happening today, so we're walking it. There, that one right there. That's like some old kind of abstract type stuff going on with this one. Hey, look at that. So, actually, going to the media day, I should have like a camera facing the people that are looking at me while I'm recording. <laughs> the reactions are so comical, man. It's like, I, I even get like the look of disgust to like, how dare I be recording myself. <laughs> Philadelphia Car Show, let's check that out right there. So, Philadelphia Car Show. And just in case after the car show you want to paint the town. Ah look at that. This is a gigantic ass paintbrush. Black tie tailgate. 8.1 million 34 years and counting are philanthropy. Bill and Troppy to Chop Children's Hospital of Philadelphia began in 1986. Uh, I graduated in 87. Total giving tops 8.1 million so far. And so the, the auto show is not just about just a whole bunch of like really expensive cars. So it's more than that. There's a lot of um, so people can come out and touch the cars, you know, what they're thinking about. You know, kids can have their dream cars, their little concept cars. So you look at that. Apocalypse ready. That's what we call that. You got that right there. Energy Dub Show Tour returns with tricked out rides, bikes, latest aftermarket excitement. Did you know it's its own show within the show? It's a show within a show. It's a showplex. It's very showy. It's got a lot to show. What are we going to do more of? Car jokes or show jokes today? It's like Monster Jam. So they say if there's an apocalypse, you need one of these. Probably. I think there's going to be more car jokes today. Get that. It's a Bentley. <laughs> this place is so shiny, it's just like... I should have wore sunglasses up in here. Check it out. Aston Martin. Look at that paint on that. I always enjoy the color. They, they come up with these paint job colors that are just crazy. But I know what some of y'all want to know. How many bodies can you fit in the back? No, I'm joking. <laughs> My buddy Eddie and all the gamers out here, this one's for you. It's the Ford High Performance Simulator. So I got something even deeper than that. 
right? You heard a new car smell? New car show smell. What? New car show smell. <laughs> This is our 119th year, and boy, has this show grown up. We have, <laughs> we have over 750,000 square feet of automotive excellence here. We have 700 vehicles here. We have 36 manufacturers represented. We have cars for everybody. We have classic cars. We have customizable cars downstairs in Dub. We have Hollywood cars, and we have some outrageous supercars definitely worth seeing um, this show is truly a consumer show people still want to get out touch feel and look at vehicles it's great to see them online but it's kind of like a pair of shoes you need to try them on um, and they're fun to drive I mean cars are still such a big part of our culture the other thing that I feel that the show brings it's part of our culture we're philanthropic um, a proceed of every ticket sale from this show goes to the Auto Dealers Caring for Kids Foundation. Oh. And what that money goes towards is our driving away the cold events. We give away brand new coats to kids who need them the most. It's an amazing thing, and if you've never been to an event, I invite you guys to come back to this building in October, and when we give away those coats and you see the smiles on the kids' faces, it just, it, it warms your heart and it warms their bodies. Uh, also, our black tie tailgate tonight, we will raise probably over half a million dollars for CHOP. Um, we've been doing this since 1986, and we've donated over $8.7 million. So the show has a purpose for consumers, it has a purpose for the community, um, and it is near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's been in my family. I'm a legacy dealer and a legacy show chair. Uh, 55 years ago, my dad opened up the show. So really special to me. Uh, another thing special to me is this Ford franchise and this Ford Oval. Um, we've been Ford dealers since the 1950s. Uh, and I'd like to introduce Steve Randall, who is the Philadelphia regional manager for Ford. He's been here probably almost as long as I have, <laughs> at least with Ford, right? And he's gonna tell you a little bit about Ford this year. Maria, you're a tough act to follow. Yeah, I've been with Ford uh, 28 years, uh, so, and most of it here in Philadelphia, so I kind of look at myself as a native here now that I've been here so long. And it's a really great thing that we do through this, through this event with uh, charities. It's a really important thing and a, and a great cause. So with that, I'd like to transition and talk about uh, my favorite vehicle, the Mustang. This past April, uh, we celebrated our 55th anniversary, which also coincided with the news that the world's best-selling sports car was once again Mustang for the fourth year in a row. Um, everybody thinks of a muscle car, they think Mustang. In this past year, we, we sold our 10 millionth Mustang rolled off the line. In the past 12 months, we introduced our our 50th anniversary edition bullet. We have a bullet over here in the, in, on the green, uh, the, the GT350, and our most powerful production Ford ever, and everyone loves this car, is the 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500, which we have back here. That's the most powerful street legal Ford ever with a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 with 760 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. I remember back in the day when if you could get over 250 with something, and this is three times that. And we use the knowledge and test experience of our Ford GT team to bring Mustang racing programs and also a Mustang that's capable of a three second sub zero to 60 and a sub 11 second quarter mile. With the best Mustang track, track times ever. And we have the largest brakes of any domestic sports scoop to kind of make that sure that thing stops. <laughs> uh, the Mustang team pours their heart and soul into each of these vehicles they create and has the most loyal followings uh, in the industry when, when you look at the number of Mustang clubs we have out there. Yeah, so that was the first press conference. That was Ford. Big thing from that one. Electric Mustang. That's wild, man. That's just crazy. Yeah, so now, heading over to Range Rover, check them out. I'm gonna take you back to 1948. When the very first Land Rover was Just had to have a Series 1 Land Rover. 
right, so yeah, this is the uh, Range Rover Defender. Uh, I don't even know what to say. This thing's got so much packed inside of it. You know? This thing is made to just go all over. It's got a reinforced roof, self-healing uh, paint job. The brakes dry themselves. <laughs> you can get all kinds of winch and all kinds of gadgets. This is like the... Like, if James Bond were going to have a truck, this would be his truck, definitely. Like, it, it's, it's got class, but yet it's got sturdiness right there. So, not exactly what you thought of a Range Rover right there. Look at that. Sturdy with class. <laughs> I know what some of y'all want to know. How many bodies can you fit in the <laughs> So it's got plenty of room. It's got plenty of versatility right there. Sound system's supposed to be premium. So this is the Range Rover right there. New for 2020. Some more stuff at the car shop. So this is Fuel the New Movement. Fuel the New Movement. Right there. So this is part of a charity. There's a lot of charity going on. I like that. So it's the car show June 7th. Get your picture in a Lambo for five dollars. So if you're at the show and you want to chill out for a minute, you can come over to the Xfinity area. They got the, the car over there. Xfinity sponsors uh, the NASCAR. They got a couple cars. Now we're going to check out the Jeep presentation that they have going on over here. That's the Mojave. <laughs> there you go. 
That thing is, that, that just looks like a fun vehicle right there. Like you, I would just want to take it to the beach and just tear it up with that thing. That just looks like some off-road kind of silliness going on with that. That's definitely what I would be about. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's, let's see if we can get a ride in the Jeep Rock. Seatbelt. Uh, Seatbelt, seat yes, of course. We want to be safe. Thank you very much. Come have fun. I will. Alright, let me make sure we clip it in here. Yeah, buckle up. Are you ready? I'll be ready. Alright. Now, is it okay if I have this out here like that? Sure. Hang on to it. Oh, yeah. We're going up there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going up. We're going up a hill. We're going up a hill. Hey, y'all, look at that hill. Look at this thing. Oh, this is the Gladiator. Spartans! Well, I thought not to get back. The hill sent down this, but go right up. Traction control. Ooh. Oh, look at it. It's like a roller coaster ride. Look, all right. It's about 15 feet out and get to the top. Uh, look at you that. Go down. What goes up goes down. Yeah, but hey. Oh, but you don't go down such a nice Can't ride. Bottom, hey, yeah, that's 30. a nice ride. Yep, not bad. Ride right on 33 inch tires. Put 35s on here without a lift. So we're coming right up on here. Come right up here. I hope y'all can see that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you can't feel that though. But look, <laughs> look at that. 23, 25, right there. We got hey. 25 degree angle. Wow. See, we're driving on the there. side of the uh, <laughs> the NASCAR there. Got skid plates all the way around. We got 11.1 inches of ground clearance. So 11.1 inches. That means that you could change the oil on this without, yep, without, without jacking it up. Without jacking it up, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take the stairs. Stairs are healthy. They're good for you, right? There you go. Right. Down nice and easy. You know, because when the apocalypse happens, you, you know, you might you need wanna, to go over the stairs. You don't want to be in this one. Yeah. It's got a neat some forward camera. It's called the trail cam. Oh, that's you know what I need. Yeah. Hey, see, that's what I've been asking for. Push button, you clean it up with the push of a button right there. Well, it squirts the water on it. Yeah, it squirts the water underneath. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I've always been. And you can activate that anytime. Yep. Holy oh. camera. So we go over here. It's got good departures, break over. All these vehicles out here trail rated, so the water 40, this is able to go through 30 inches of water. 30 inches? Yep. That's Five a pool. Now it's the top of the fender without a snorkel. Keep the 35s on here without a lift. Uh -oh. Five foot box out the back. You can actually put a piece of plywood in the back there <clears throat> between the bed rails. Wow, so this thing is built yes. to go. Well built. <laughs> <laughs> a full, uh, yeah, it's hey. a 1600, yeah, it's about 7,660 like pounds. So. And it's got room. I don't know if you guys can see that room. That Four doesn't... door, got the hard top on this one, got three piece removable hard top on it. Oh, it's a three piece removable hard top. Yeah, you, can oh. it, you can get it with a canvas top also. The other one is a canvas effect, maybe. Oh. Yeah, canvas. But well, yeah, a little bit of what it's got, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good. Very informative. Oh, okay, I got everything. I got all my pieces. Thank you. So that, look at that. See that back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In short, unstoppable. Hey, hey, it goes up the stairs, went up the hill. It was lean to the side. It was, oh man. And then that forward camera. I love the forward camera. This is a prototype Supra. It's a concept vehicle, meaning that they were testing out some ideals. How cool would it be to be a kind of engineer? We're like, mm, we're going to test out some ideals and build it. And then it just goes around and people look at it. So if Hello Kitty were a superhero, this would be Hello Kitty's uh, vehicle right here. This is, you know. I... 
I don't know what kind of emergencies Hello Kitty would have to save people from, but does Hello Kitty have a theme song? That's my question. Be like, meow, meow, Hello Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. I'm gonna make a Hello Kitty theme song. Kitty, Kitty, Kitty on the move, move, move. <laughs> 1974? Get the heck out of here. Oh look, they got a little pet area here. Isn't that cool? So there's like a little pet area, like a little park they got set up right over here in the Subaru area. Isn't that cool? With fake dog barking. <laughs> Because I would say probably if I were to think about pet owner, I would say Subaru. They're they're like together. We have over 750,000 square feet of automotive excellence here. We have 700 vehicles here. We have 36 manufacturers represented. We have cars for everybody. We have classic cars. We have customizable cars downstairs in Dove. We have Hollywood cars and we have some outrageous supercars. Definitely worth seeing. Um, this show is truly a consumer show. People still want to get out, touch, feel, and look at vehicles. It's great to see them online, but it's kind of like a pair of shoes. You need to try them on. Um, and they're fun to drive. I mean, cars are still such a big part of our culture. The other thing that I feel that the show brings that's part of our culture, we're philanthropic. Um, a proceed of every ticket sale from this show goes to the Auto Dealers Caring for Kids Foundation. Oh. And what that money goes towards is our driving away the cold events. We give away brand new coats to kids who need them the most. It's an amazing thing and if you've never been to an event, I invite you guys to come back to this building in October and when we give away those coats and you see the smiles on the kids' faces, it just, it, it warms your heart and it warms their bodies. Uh, also our black tie tailgate tonight, we will raise probably over a million, half a million dollars for CHOP. Um, we've been doing this since 1986 and we've donated over 8.7 million dollars. So the show has a purpose for consumers, it has a purpose for the community, um, and it is near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's been in my family. I'm a legacy dealer and a legacy show chair. Uh, 55 years ago my dad opened up the show. So really special to me. Uh, not